Hello, this week on KCAT we will have a report on the library's latest contest, we will have some information on yearbook, catch up with some students in the halls, get the latest sports results and get this week's wildcat weather forecast. Hello and welcome to KCAT News. I'm Abby Horsley and with me is Robert Long. First up this week, our high school library is offering a contest for the bookworms here. Oh, oh. oh. hi. I'm Robert Long. And today, I'm here at the MHS library, learning about all sorts of things you can read through books. And did you know there's a new librarian in town? I just had a sit down with her, and she told me about some amazing things, including a raffle you could participate in. Let's go check it out. So how does it feel being the new librarian? Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm at the high school and at the primary, so um, it's a really great schedule, and I enjoy all the kids so far. And what is the, your uh, schedule for being here? What days are you here and what days are you not? I'm at the high school on Monday mornings from 7.30 to 10, and then I'll be back at 2 to 3, and then I'm here all day Thursday and Friday. Uh, so tell me about the, uh, the raffle that's going on right now. It's called a Read to Win contest, and um, I'm trying to get more kids into the library just to get to know me and kind of for me to get to know them. Um, so I'm doing a contest every week where every time you check out, you get to put your name in the raffle, and um, on Fridays I'll pull two names, and on Monday we'll announce the winners, and it's mystery bags, and there's some, you know, freebies from around town, just some fun items in there for kids and I think they'll like it. How interesting. I know I'll be reading about my main man, George Lucas, to enter the raffle. And in other MHS library news, next Thursday, the MHS library will be having a fundraiser trunk show where they'll have all the apparel of MHS, Wildcats, or uh, K-State, or WSU that you so desire. 20% of the proceeds will go to the library. Well, I have some reading to do. Robert Long, KCAT News. Thanks, Robert. Yearbooks are on sale, and we have details for you right here. Yearbooks will be $60 until November 4th, then the prices will increase to $75 from November to February. Senior Salute quarter pages will cost $80 for three photos and a text. Half page with five photos and a text is $170, and payments are due December 1st. Make sure you buy a yearbook because Snapchats only last 10 seconds and yearbooks last forever. Abby Horsley, KCAT News. Thanks, Abby. Now it's time for In the Halls with Olya Dolinska and Jensen Knight. Hello, I'm Jensen Knight. I'm Olya Dolinska, and I'm a better reporter than she is. And whatever she said, and this is In the Halls. Hi, what's your name? Thomas Christman. Nice to meet you. Um, do I want to ask you some questions. Do you mind? Um, uh, what is the capital of Ukraine? I don't know. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Josh. Nice to meet you. Uh, I will ask you some questions about Ukraine. Uh, do you know what is the capital of Ukraine? No. It's Kiev. Uh, do you know what colors are in Ukrainian flag? No. It's blue and yellow. Um, do you know how many uh, regions there are in Ukraine? Four. Twenty-four. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Привет. Як справи? No, what are you are talking about, eh? Як тебе звуть? What? Як тебе звуть? What? Um. Як поживаєш? What are you talking about? Я говорю українською. Hello, sir. How are we doing today? Good. All right. What two countries border the United States? What? What two countries border the United States? What do you mean? Like what? What? I'm sorry. What? What two countries do we have around the United States? Canada and Mexico. Trump would be very proud of you, sir. <laughs> How are we doing today, sir? Okay, I've been going around. I've been asking some trivia questions. I want to know if you'd like to answer some questions. Of course, I would. All right. Uh, what two countries border the United States? Uh, Nebraska and Colorado. Oh God. Нарешті Дженсен змінив футболку. 
and whatever she said. And that's all from us, KCAT News. Thanks, guys. The sports teams have been hard at work this week, and we'll get the results with this week's edition of Victory Lane. Hello, I'm Lane Becker, and welcome to Victory Lane. This is our new segment covering everything sports in Mulvane High School. First, I will cover football. Our JV team played Rose Hill this past Monday and suffered a tough loss of 22-6. Due to flooding, last Friday's game was moved to Saturday, where the Wildcats played the Rockets away and stomped them 40-20 to on their own field. Junior quarterback Jaden Price also tied a school rushing record with a 97-yard touchdown. Only other person to do that was James Crawford in 1968. That's all I have for football. Now I'm going to throw it over to Bretton Bowman with volleyball and soccer. With both the boys soccer and girls volleyball participating in tournaments this week, both in Arc City, we'll start it off with boys soccer. With their tournament in Arc City, they went 1-2 with their win against Arc City in overtime with a last second headshot from Nick Henderson. And both tough losses came from Wichita Independence and Augusta. They had a game on Tuesday against Augusta. I'll have more results for that next week. Now over to volleyball. Now with volleyball participating in Arc City 2, they went 3-1 and one with their wins against Arc City, Bell Plain, and their one loss against Wichita Northwest. Taking third overall. Good job, ladies. Bretton Bowman, KCAT News. Good job, Bretton. And great job to our girls volleyball team and our boys soccer teams. Now I'm going to let Kate take it away with golf. Girls golf played on September the 8th. Individual scores were Morgan Mitchell and Cammie Kemp tied for a place of 16th, while Morgan Dial took 12th with a score of 108th. Girls also played Andover Central and took third place. The girls also played last night and they played Circle, which we will have those results next week. I am Cade Becker, KCAT News. Well done, Cade. And congratulations to our girls golf team on their third place finish. Lastly, I'll let Tyler share with you some information on our cross country team. Thanks, Lane. This Saturday, the varsity cross country team ran at Wamego, Kansas, just east of Manhattan. For the boys' side, Cade Gerlach medaled at 15th place with a time of 17.54, and Isaiah Hunt also medaled at 32nd place with a time of 18.37. And on the girls' side, Josie Russell medaled with 37th place with a time of 22.44. Overall, the varsity team team ran very well this Saturday. Both JV and Varsity ran at Chaparral yesterday and we will have those results next week. Tyler Fox, KCAT News. Nicely done, Tyler, and good job to our runners. That's all we have this week. From Victory Lane, I'm Lane Becker, and we'll see you again next week. Thanks, guys. Now it's time for Wildcat Weather with Austin Fawnsteel. Hey Austin, I'm Annie Humble and I want to know what the weather is going to be for game day. Today will be mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of rain. We will see winds out of the south at 5 to 15 miles per hour with a high of 81 degrees. This evening during the neon themed home football game, we cannot rule out the possibility of rain. Temperatures will start off in the mid to upper 70s, and by the end of the game, temperatures will be in the lower 70s. Assuming the rain stays out of here, this evening should be pleasant. Overnight temperatures will drop to 66 degrees. Hey Austin, I'm Kaylee Quixa. What will be the forecast for Saturday? On Saturday, we will see decreasing clouds becoming partly cloudy with northwest winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour and slightly cooler temperatures with a high of 79 degrees. Hey Austin, I'm Kylie Mielik and this is Ainsley Vandergeesen and we're wondering what the Wildcat weather is for Sunday. Sunday will remain partly cloudy with winds returning to the south at 5 to 15 miles per hour with a high of 82 degrees. Hey Austin, I'm Reagan and I'm Sierra and we want to know what the Wildcat weather is going to be for Monday. When you return to school Monday, it will be humid and we will see winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour with highs in the upper 80s. The rest of next week should be partly cloudy with highs in the mid 80s. That's a look at the Wildcat weather. Thanks to all of our guests this week on Wildcat weather. Anyone can be on Wildcat weather, whether you're male or female, a teacher or a student, it doesn't matter. If you think you want to be on Wildcat weather, send us a tweet to at RealKCatNews and I'll try to get you on the air. Have a good weekend and I'll see you back here next week. Excellent work, Austin. This concludes KCAT for this week. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching KCAT, KCAT News. News.